What's going on guys? Alex here with 814EC and today I'm ready to do my full review or reviews on the two Lion Steel fixed blades that I had in courtesy of the Apex Pass Around Group. So we have the, I can't remember the names on these. Um, this is the B41, specifically the um, G10, the Black G10 and the Stone Launch Edition. Um, I'm looking off the box over here. And then this is the M4 which is in olive wood and uh, satin blade. Um, out of the two, I definitely prefer the M4 just because it's a little bit smaller um, for me personally, but the um, B41 is also really, really good too. So uh, we'll start with the B41. So they both come, well, we'll start with both of them, I guess. They both come with this really nice leather um, sheath that has a belt loop back here. So you can carry traditionally um, I would prefer, or I, I prefer to carrying fixed blades like a scout carry horizontally and stuff like that. Um, but I definitely get the um, appeal to carrying a fixed blade like this if you're around camp or if you're hiking, something like that. Um, and these these uh, sheaths are very very well or well made. Can't talk right now. Um, they both say handmade in Italy, and this is the M4, and then the B41. So really really cool. Um, I like how I did that, but yeah, we'll jump into the B41. So like I said, this does have, or this has the um, black G10 and the stone wash. I believe this is right around a four inch blade, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I remember when I unboxed these, I wasn't sure um, what Moletta was. I thought that that was, I'm pretty sure that I said that that was maybe a place in Italy where these were made. But then someone said, uh, commented on my video and said, no, that's the maker's name or the designer's name. Um, so I'm glad that that caught cleared up for me. But this is in Sleipner Steel, I believe is how you say it. Um, S-L-E-I-P-N-E-R, which I believe only Lion Steel uses. I don't think I've seen another um, knife brand using that sort of steel. I, I don't know if they maybe were the ones that um, created it. Um, it could be an Italian steel. I'm not totally sure. I'm not, you know, very well versed in Sleipner steel. So, um, and I will say that I did not use these. Um, I, I carried them around a little bit. Like when I was home, I would like take my dog on a walk around our property and I would put one on my belt and, you know, carry it. But I, I didn't put these to use. Um, I really had no, I, I don't like bushcraft. I don't, you know, go out and baton through stuff. Um, I did open a couple boxes with them, so I guess I technically did use them. Uh, and I did, I guess I cut a little bit of cardboard too, but very, very, you know, small amount uh, right after Christmas when we had like boxes we needed to cut up a little, or cut up to like put in garbage cans and put um, like in burn stuff. So um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a huge, like bigger fixed blade guy. I've never really had one. Um, but this definitely feels comfortable in the hand. One thing that I really like is the crown spine on there, which I know is um, kind of an Italian knives, uh, or I th like when knives come out of Italy, it's kind of like a, uh, not a trademark, but like a lot of knives have that. Like a lot of uh, giant mouse knives, stuff like that have um, a crown spine. And I really like how it feels in the hand whenever you're, you know, kind of pushed all the way up here. Um, the Black G10 is really, really comfortable. I noticed that it, it's skinny here and it kind of thickens right here in the belly and then it gets skinny again. Um, I can, you know, feels really, really good in the hand. Uh, we'll talk about that with ergos and stuff like that. But I mean, the, the knife um, makeup is very, very simple. Uh, you basically have two slabs of G10 on each side screwed in with these two screws. And then you have the knife, and it's a full tang knife. Um, it's definitely a thick tang. Um, it's not, uh, it's not overly thick, but it's definitely on the thicker side, I would say. Um, but it is a flat grind, drop point style, and it's it's not like as thick as you would think behind the edge. Um, it comes down to a, a relatively, um, I'm not gonna say thin edge because it is, like I said, a beefy fixed blade. Uh, but definitely better than what you would probably expect out of it when you first look at it. Um, and the edge is good on it. Um, still pretty sharp from what I could tell. Uh, and it does have the stone wash, which I like. 
So I'm a, I'm a fan of satin blades. I really am. Um, they look really, really good. I like when you can see the grind lines and everything like that. But I think, um, and I, I know a lot of other people think the same way. Uh, like this would be a knife that you take out. Like I said, you go to camp with it. You, you do bushcraft stuff with it. So you're going to be using this knife. Stonewash is really good at hiding, um, you know, like marks and scratches and stuff like that. A lot easier than satin is because it, it just, it, it hides stuff better. Um, so I really like that they did a stone wash on this. I believe the, um, yep, the M4 is satin, which looks good too. Um, but I think that maybe on fixed blades, stone wash just looks a little bit better for, for durability and um, for usability too. So it does have a lanyard loop back here for you lanyard fans. Um, and then you could definitely, um, this seems to have a, you know, Kind of a sharp edge so i don't know if you could try to strike this for a fire starter um i definitely would not want to get hit in the head by this if you had to use this in like a self-defense manner um and you didn't want to stab someone you could definitely probably use this as like a pommel on the top of someone's head um but yeah that's really all for material um normally i would jump into action for fixed blades you don't do an action because there is no you know you know there's no no folder it's kind of you know, one big chunk of steel. So um, what I like to do normally is compare or talk about how it goes in and out of the sheath because that's kind of an action. Um, but it does have this snap loop right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you just kind of pop it open. And it has good retention. I mean, it's not it's not moving at all. Like It's it's not coming out of there. It, it's, it's really locked in there quite well. So they did a, uh, a good job with the sheath. But, I mean, it's in and out of there. So, I know it's not, you know, the typical, uh, it's not, not really comparable to an action, but I like to go over it anyway, so. Got some on my lip. Got a fuzzy. Um, so, moving on to uh, uh, Ergos. I almost said carry. Carry's last. Moving on to Ergos. It's comfortable, but it feels a little bit chunky in my hand. Because um, like I said, on this black G10, it is skinnier here, but then it gets kind of fat right here in the middle in the belly, and then it goes skinny again. I kind of wish they just kept the same like thinness of back here and up front here the whole way through. Because I, I feel like I can definitely feel the, you know, the bulge as you, you know, lack of better term, in my hand. And it's, it's definitely not uncomfortable. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not used to um, fixed blades. The only fixed blade that I currently have in the collection is my Jacob Creates uh, Chickadee, which this thing is tiny. You can't really compare the two because, I mean, this knife itself is almost the size of, or this knife's uh, whole blade is almost the size of this whole knife in general. So. I'm not really, you know, used to big, beefy um, fixed blades like this. So maybe that's why it feels a little weird to me. But I definitely think the G10 could have been a little bit skinnier, a little bit um, slimmer. And I think it would have felt a little bit better. But I definitely can get a good purchase on it. There, There is no jimping because, like I said, they do use the crown spine, which I'm okay with. Um, I could take it. I could leave it. I'm not, you know, a jimping hater. I'm not a jimping lover. It's just kind of, you know, it is what it, it is. What it is. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, ergos are good other than it being a little, you know, fat, but I'm sure if I were to use this, you know, hard and go out in the woods and do stuff with it, maybe after some use and I got used to it, I would enjoy that, but I'm not really quite sure. So, um, and you can definitely, you know, do all your different grips because it's a very neutral grip. I mean, it's just straight and straight. You don't have any finger grooves or anything. You do have this kind of, um, edge right here, not edge, but kind of almost like a flipper tab that you can kind of, you know, a natural locking position lock behind. But yeah, so ergos are kind of mad to me. Uh, next we're going to go to carry. And, uh, when I did carry this once or twice on a walk, um, I could definitely feel it was there. It wasn't uncomfortable because the leather is nice and relatively uh, soft, but I also had on like a hoodie and a coat because again, it's winter time here in Western Pennsylvania. Um, so maybe 
if you were to try it with just shorts and a t-shirt on or something like that it would, it would be different uh, but it just it wasn't like uncomfortable and it wasn't like the most comfortable because I could feel it was there um, you know moving back and forth and kind of poking me and stuff like that so but that's just you know relative to the size of the knife and it's relative to um, you know how long the knife is and stuff like that so that was the B41 Yep, B41. Uh, we are going to jump into the M4 now, which again is the one that I would have chosen. So this has the really cool olive wood. It has a, a satin blade with a hollow grind, which I like a lot. Um, to me, this seems more of like an EDC style knife, at least a little bit more size like it's size better for an EDC style knife um, again this is a Moletta design line steel Italy whoops M390 so M390 is a really really great steel um, I don't know how it compares directly to Sleipner steel um, I, I know that M390 is a very high performing steel and it's one of the best I think you can get really today for an EDC knife. Um, I'm not sure because I know a lot of the time on fixed blades you want something you want a steel that's really tough. You want a steel that is gonna you know not be corrosive <coughs> and stuff like that. Um, I know M390 is relatively um, good at being corrosion corrosion resistant. Um, I'm not sure on the toughness. I know it holds an edge very well and for pretty for a relatively long time. Um, but when, on the toughness scale, I'm not super sure how M390 performs. So that's why, in my mind, this is more directed towards maybe lighter duty tasks or almost an EDC style knife. Um, it, it's, I don't know. It's definitely an intriguing model. Um, like I said, it does have a hollow grind, which feels really good. I would say it's a little bit slimmer and a little bit skinnier in blade stock than the B41. Uh, not by much, though. But then when you have that hollow grind, it's, you know, going down at kind of a V-shaped almost. Um, from what I can understand, like it, it cuts a, a little bit out of the knife. So it's it's definitely thinner than the B41 is. Still has a really good edge on it. Um, I'd probably use this maybe a few more times for kind of a little bit of cardboard up and stuff like that than the B41. Um, but definitely didn't, you know, hard use it or anything like that. So, um, again, these olive uh wood scales look really really good i much prefer them over the black g10 um another thing to note is it follows the same suit of being skinny kind of having a thicker belly right here and then skinny again i really wish i just would have kept the same skinniness level the whole way across um because i, I kind of get that same um issue with um finding and kind of feeling that in my hand um i definitely um, don't i don't know like it's, I, I just, I don't think that I'm used to fixed blades this thick maybe that's, or not even this thick, but just fixed blades in general, this size. Um, maybe that's why I'm thinking how I am, but uh, it's definitely not uncomfortable. Um, but I don't know. So action, we'll just jump right in there. I basically gave all the, um, basically the two materials that we have on this knife. But again, leather sheath, you pop it. goes in and out you have to push it in and kind of pull it a little bit but the more you get used to it um, kind of use that as like a thumb ramp uh, I'm not a huge leather fan I would kind of prefer kydex but um, leather does definitely have its place and I think it looks very nice too so <coughs> excuse me I need a sip of water on to ergos kind of already been over that already with how the the g10 um, has the belly uh, and i kind of sound like a broken a broken record now but uh i don't know like it's definitely not uncomfortable but it's in my mind there's something about it it's not like super super comfortable uh, i don't know what it is um like i said i'm just going to attribute it to the fact that i don't handle a ton of fixed blades and i'm not used to them um because i feel like if i was really using this and stuff like that it, it would become comfortable and i would enjoy carrying it and, and handling it um but definitely comfortable in uh reverse grip you know if you're doing like 
reverse cuts, you're cutting ropes, stuff like that. Definitely really comfortable that way. Um, I can still get all four fingers on here. Uh, I believe, so like I said, I think the B41 is a four inch blade. Um, and I think this is three and a half maybe, I would say. That looks to be about right. Um, so definitely a little bit smaller. Put this back, but yeah, um, definitely a better size for me to carry um, and to use. Um, but yeah, ergos are good, um, but I feel like they could be better. But again, that could just be just be me. Uh, I do like how they put off topic, but I like how they put the lanyard hole kind of in the handle itself. Um, very different from the B forty one how it is down here on the bottom. I uh, will move right into uh, carry and very, very similar to how the B41 carries, just in a little bit smaller of a package. Um, so it, it, I definitely preferred having it on my belt than the other one, um, just cause I, I, you know, it was just better. But I can't get this. In. I think I put the wrong knife in the wrong sheath, maybe. Yes, I did. Well, that's weird. The other one fits fine in the other one. The, the B41, that's weird. The B41 fits fine in the M4 sheath, but the M4 doesn't fit in the B41 sheath, even though the B41 is bigger than the M4. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I must have got those mixed up when I was comparing the two, so. Yeah, but a much, much slimmer profile. Um, uh, I could, or, you know, shorter profile as well, but I could definitely, you know, feel it when it was on my belt. I carried it kind of at my 3.30, 4 o'clock position, kind of like on the side back there. Um, and I, I definitely could see people carrying it anywhere from, you know, 1 to like 4 o'clock. Um, but I really think that this would do well if you, even if you kept the leather sheath, but put some, put like a big leather like strap over here so you could scout carry it, um, either up front, like appendix style, or like on the small of your back. Uh, I feel like a lot of people would prefer that. Uh, it just seems to be a little bit more discreet way of carrying a fixed blade. It seems to be a little bit more comfortable because when, you know, you're, you're not hitting the handle or anything like that. So just my two cents, but now it comes to price point. I want to recommend these knives. Price point on the B41, um, according to, I think, Blade HQ I found it on, uh, 132 I think that's a really solid price considering you're getting, you know, a really nice leather sheath made in Italy. Uh, it feels really good, you know, nice to touch. Uh, you're getting a full, um, you know, full, full, I don't say full flat grind, a full uh, tang fixed blade. Um, you know, the G10 is nicely done. I just wish it was a little bit maybe a little skinnier um but you're getting a very nice looking knife that i feel like you could really do some work with this um for 132 bucks i think that's a good deal i i honestly expected them to be higher uh so yes i i would agree to that price point and then the m4 i found on knife center i think for 150 bucks and i i think that that is also a good price because you're getting a little bit of a steel upgrade in my opinion from sleipner to um, M390, you're getting a hollow grind. Um, the olive wood also might factor into that price uh, increase of $18 over the black G10. It's probably a little bit more to, to manufacture, um, but I still think 150 bucks is, you know, very adequate and, and you know worth it for a knife like this because both of them are very well built. Um, for the most part, they are comfortable in the hand and they are, I think, very usable for whatever task you really might need it to do. Um, Lion Steel has, has good products on their hands and uh, I am glad that I got to check this one out. I had never heard of these before, um, before getting them in from, or before, you know, uh, Justin, the knife dude said that he had some Lion Steel fixed blades in and if whoever wanted to check them out could. So I was like, you know what? I had never experienced any Lion Seals before and I thought it would be a good idea. And I definitely, I definitely was surprised and very pleased and very happy to get them in and stuff like that. So um, I, the, I feel like the, this review was kind of a mixed bag of, I've been using that term a lot because I use it in the um, Spica 
uh, review too. But I, I, I just feel like it's a good way of, it's a good, a good term to use because I feel like there's a lot of things that I like, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that I don't like, and <coughs> it sounds like I was crying. I don't know what it is. My throat has just been giving me fits when I get like deep into these videos. But at the end of the day, they are good knives, and for 132 bucks and 150 bucks. I think that's a really good price if you are looking for a very um, high quality, well-made, like manufactured fixed blade. Because there are plenty of, you know, custom makers out there that you can go get one from that are a little bit pricier than that. So if you're looking for, like I said, a manufactured um, production blade, I definitely would even, would recommend both of these. Um, I probably would lean toward the M4 a little bit more just because I like the size a little bit better. Um, the handle scales are better in my opinion. Um, I like M390 a lot, and the hollow grind is also a really cool perk too. But the B41 is definitely uh, no slouch. Um, it's it's definitely kind of a little beast of a knife, and you know, in the right situation and you know, in the right hands, this thing could definitely become a you know, a tank of a knife for whatever you need it to do. So that was my full review on the Lion Steel Knives B41 and the Lion Steel Knives M4. Um, I just wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Justin, the knife dude, for um, running the Apex, or, uh, Apex, the Black Widow Passer on Group. I apologize because I just did my review on this and I got it in from the Apex Group, um, but I'm in two. The Black Widow Passer on Group is actually the first one that I was in. Um, and Justin is, I, th I know I've told you guys before about it, but Justin is probably, he was 14 when I first met him, so he's probably 15 at this point. But a 15-year-old kid to to be reaching out to companies to basically ask them to send us stuff into the group to review, um, and he's he's very successful at doing it. So I just have to give a huge um, a huge thumbs up, two thumbs up to you, Justin. Thank you so much for all the hard work you do, and um, you know for for getting some really cool knives into the group for all of us to check out. So. I will leave um, links to uh, Blade HQ and to uh, Knife Center where I found these knives um, in the description down below if anyone is interested in checking them out or giving them a little bit better of a closer look. So um, definitely check that down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed but you like what you're watching, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Um, it helps me out a lot. Um, definitely you know, trying to keep chugging along and hopefully the subs will keep rolling in. So, um, yeah, I just really appreciate you guys and I love you guys. So hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. I just, I got to start talking super slow, I guess. Um, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.